What's going on? Welcome to Tuesday Talks. My name's Hunter Reese. I'm an independent musician, singer, songwriter, producer. It's Tuesday, and I'm here to talk. Get it? <laughs> Today we're going to talk about streaming, royalties, and all that stuff again. Um, because it's important to me, and I feel like if you're a non-musician, you don't really see it, and uh, you don't hear about it, so it's just interesting. Um, Lately, I've been listening to Spotify and the Wall Street Journal Today podcast where they're talking about the Marvel backstory and the history of how they went from being bankrupt into the massive movie studio powerhouse they are today. It's a fascinating listen. I've been a fan of the heroes and the comics and all that good stuff, but did not know any of this business backside the real humans that were behind the scenes making things happen. It's a wild story, so check that out. It's called With Great Power Spotify Podcast. Speaking of Spotify, though, there is currently a fraud tactic going around where people are speeding up songs so it changes the frequency or condensing, making things faster, songs of their favorite artists and putting that up on streaming for sped up versions. Problem is, they're not being attributed to the original artist. They're not being claimed to be the original artist. Their original artists are not being paid. Um, and because the frequencies are different, finding audio that's being misused. For instance, when you upload a YouTube video and it takes the audio out, they recognize the frequencies and analyze that and they can almost like a fingerprint. It's like the frequency analyzer is like a fingerprint for the song. But if you stretch, squish, Affect that, change it. It has a hard time recognizing. It. So it's that there are millions of songs out there purposefully changed so that they don't get recognized, are being attributed and paid to a wrong party. It's insane. Slow down or sped up, otherwise manipulate it and include the likes of Lady Gaga's Bloody Mary, which has reached 25 million streams on that version, not her real version. That would pay about 25 million streams would pay about $100,000. And that's going to just some jabroni that uploaded it, a fake version that couldn't be recognized. People are listening to it thinking it's the original artist, thinking that they're listening to a Lady Gaga song, but that's not the case. Someone else who just stretched the audio and re-uploaded it is getting paid for that. That's terrible. Childish Gambino's heartbeat has been stretched, manipulated, played 19 million times. That's just a cool $76,000 to some rando loser who's scamming the system and getting that streaming money directly from these artists, Lady Gaga, Childish Gambino. Terrible. Uh, like I said, that's streaming fraud. That's scam. I wish people weren't so terrible. There's also another kind of fraud going on where 31 seconds is the amount of time to count as a stream. So they pay you if a song's been listening to, listened to for at least 31 seconds. That's a stream. So there are people uploading songs that are 31 seconds long that aren't really songs they're just noise so there's actually one company that did this legally 1200 accounts at ten dollars a month so that's about twelve thousand dollars of business expenses but they're playing these 500 these play 31 second songs 24 7 and that is paying them about four hundred and fifteen thousand per month so they made 1200 accounts at ten dollars a month are paying Spotify $12,000 a month and just having them 24-7 repeat these 31-second songs, that pays them back about $415,000 a month. Once again, this is legal. It's not breaking rules. Moving forward, that needs to be a crime, but it's also on Spotify to find a way to do this because it's their business model. It's their business, and that is wrong on so many levels, but it what these guys are doing is technically legal. So Spotify needs to update policies and find ways to pay the people who are keeping their platforms up, you know, artists, podcasters, singers, songwriters say this is all the money Spotify makes from its customers. You pay a monthly fee. It all goes here. This is all of the money in a month, right? This is how the payment works. It's on a scale of all the artists on there get paid based on how many streams there were. So if this represents $10 and 10 streams, then it works even. Everyone gets a dollar, right, per stream. And billions of streams, every time someone streams, each stream is getting less valuable. There's only this much money, so every time somebody streams, 
per stream is getting less valuable. When these fake accounts and 31 second streams and fake songs that are not attributed to the artist, every time those 25 million streams on that fake song are being played, that is making real songs made by real people less valuable every single time that streams. I hope that's clear. If there's two artists, you each get paid that much. If there's four streams, you each get paid this much. If that's four streams to four real artists, that's okay. Now imagine there's 25, 20, that's about 45 million streams from fake accounts going to not artists, at least. That's just two songs. There's millions of songs out there that each have this. All those things, now the real artists are getting this because 25 million streams are going to a fake, a liar, a scammer. Maybe, you know, find a better way that works. So I don't have the answers. This is huge. This is like, I would hope the best case scenario could be like talking to industry execs, talking to listeners, talking to artists, talking to company executives, and maybe over a time figuring out new ideas from everyone because it's going to take a lot of brain power to fix. I think something cool is um, Apple Music is really pushing for spatial audio. It's kind of like the Dolby Surround or all that. It's a new way that audio can be listened to if you have Apple. So if you have AirPods, you might have experienced it. It's more of a surround depth picture, spatial audio. If you make your music available in spatial audio, Apple will pay 10% more royalties on those songs. Not just the spatial audio listens. If I have my song Don't Change and I have regular version and spatial audio version, just for putting that version up, Apple will pay me 10% more on any stream, not just the spatial audios. Props to Apple. Uh, they clearly want this to take off. Uh, the spatial audio become the new standard for listening. So they're trying to get artists involved and get people listening, and then that would get the listeners involved, and we'll see what happens. But I think it's a cool move. Not That's dope. Props, Apple. Um, yeah, I don't want to just ride the soapbox for too long. The sun's out today. I'm a happy guy. I'm telling you, man. I heard this recently. Um, do not put your happiness or how you view yourself based on external things. If I make music, that's my input. That's what I can control. How much music I make, what kind of music I'm making. When I put that out there in the world and either 10 people listen to it, 100 people listen to it, 1,000 people listen to it, that's external. That's output. I can't control that. Base your happiness, how you feel, your confidence, how you feel about yourself on your input, on the things that you can control going in. If you can't control this over here, do not change how you feel because of this. Go out there. Have an awesome day. Tuesday Talks. I'll see you next time. Thumbnail. <laughs> Boom.